One NBA question. I know it's NFL time, but Kevin Durant says, why isn't he mentioning the GOAT combo? Well, first of all, everybody that's in the GOAT conversation has at least four regular season MVP. So that's that's one thing you don't have. They also have at least four finals MVPs. So you can throw that up there. There's a minimum number of rings. There's, there's a lot of reasons why Kevin Durant is not in the GOAT conversation. Now, if we're just talking about overall players and who's just like just as far as the basketball talent and what you're able to do, Kevin Kevin Durant is an anomaly. Okay, he's at six foot eleven and able to do what he can do shooting the basketball, um, you know, running running the offense, bringing the ball up the court. He Kevin Durant does it all. So if we're talking about from that standpoint, yeah, you can argue he is one of the greatest to play the game. But when we're talking about the goat conversation, the goat conversation is is also about your resume and what your resume says. And your resume does not compare to LeBron, to Michael Jordan, to Magic Johnson, to Kareem Abdul Jabbar. These are guys that are that are far ahead of you on the all time ranking list. First of all, and I hate to do this because I like Kevin Durant, but why isn't he mentioned in the GOAT conversation? All right, so GOAT implies one, right? They can only be one. How many guys are we going to have in the GOAT conversation if they can only be one? We can't have the GOAT conversation about everybody. Like, it just gets ridiculous at some at some point. Like, wow, right? Yeah, like, it's not enough to say, oh, a guy's a top 10 or top 15. Oh, it's like, oh, he's not in the GOAT conversation. So what does it matter? They can only be one. That's why it's the GOAT. You can only, they can only be one guy. It can't be 10 GOATs. You could be legends. You could be, you know, all-time greats. It can only be one GOAT. So that's first. Yeah. Secondly, to answer Kevin Durant's question, what hasn't he done? Okay. Was he ever an underdog that led a team to a championship? I don't think he was. All right. You take away the two Warriors finals runs, but a three, he got injured the one time. But you take those away. He only went to one of the finals with Oklahoma City. They lost in five games. Yeah. What are we even talking about? Like, when we talk GOAT, we're talking multiple championship runs over a sustained period of time. Mm -hmm. Curry's yeah. resume is Curry's resume is better than Kevin Durant's. And we don't even talk about Curry as the GOAT. So what do we like when we talk again, GOAT, Kareem, five NBA championships, right? Mm -hmm. Uh five time league MVP. He was a scoring leader for over 20 years in the league. He led two different franchises to an NBA title. We talk yeah. about Mike. We don't have to go down Mike's resume because Mike's resume has been discussed so many times. But if we want to highlight, we know the six championships in eight years, right? The overall dominance that Mike had, the league MVP, six-time NBA finals. We know about that. We talk Braun. We talk Kobe. We talk Tim Duncan. Look at the names I'm mentioning. These are guys that have multiple championship runs, and all of those were not as the favorite. Some of those were as like, hey, nobody kind of saw this happening, and we, yeah. we went on a run. For Mike, in Mike's case, the first one was that for them. The other five, they were the favorites. But that yeah. first one, they were underdogs. They were the young guns the first time they won a championship. After that, everybody kind of expected the Bulls to be a title contender. Um, but you go down the list, Magic, Bird, sorry, KD. As great as you are, your resume individually or as a leader is not stronger than any of those guys we mentioned. Yeah. It's just not. Skill-wise, one of the most skilled guys to ever play the game. Nobody mm -hmm. ever not, nobody ever debates that. You can't. But we're not talking skill. If we're talking GOAT, we're talking totality of resume. And his resume is not stronger than anybody. I just mentioned like six or seven guys. His resume ain't stronger than none of them. Yo, this is Teresa Weatherspoon, better known as Teaspoon, and you're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Live from the camp. Uh huh. This is Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk. We as real as you thought.